the instruments and support you need for your industry. Ferocity Holiday Detectors. Detector earthing for your test application. PCWI Ferocity and Holiday Detectors. PCWI manufactures a vast range of brushware to suit both the DC pulse and the DC units. This is some of the brushware that's available. We have straight brushes, external pipeline brushes, internal brushes. It's a very large segment brushes. Coils, specials are made to order. The wet sponge unit low voltage tester will only work with a wetted sponge and a direct earth to the substrate. This unit will not work with brass bristle wire brushes. High voltage detectors. The pulse detector in a 20 and a 40 kV and a DC direct current constant current unit at 15 kV and 30 kV. We have a vast arrangement of differing earths. We have 10 to 15 meter trailing earths. These are bare wire, stainless steel wire. A capacitive earth mat that you can put inside and on the outside of pipes for capacitive earths. We have standard earth leads, many lengths available, virtually as long as you'd like. Before you switch on, Let's first do the earth thing. Earthing for small and large items. Always earth the detector to the substrate and then the substrate to ground. This is virtually a double earthing system. It does make a lot of sense because a lot of the times small items do not have a lot of mass and need to be earthed a little bit more substantially. Always earth the detector and the substrate to ground. Earthing for wharves and shipping. You can simply drop the earth lead into the water. It's also a good idea to put a spike in the concrete or attach it to the Rio bar and from there earth onto a ship just adds a little stability. Welded plastic sheeting and tank liners. Always earth a detector to the backing of the liner and to ground. You have welds above concrete, wet sand, compacted sand, mainly for liners in dams etc. You can put a metallic strip behind the weld. You can clip onto that. Make sure you have a good ground as well to, to earth. You can also, maybe even a tank bottom, you can float it in a little bit of water and then get inside the tank on top of the plastic and test it that way. The water actually becomes like a substrate providing you've got your earth lead attached to it. Concrete structures. We can test coatings on concrete structures with high voltage. Tank liners, coated walls, you've coated floors, the back of retaining walls, wet areas in multi-storey buildings. You can test coatings on concrete by putting a spike into the concrete, attaching the earth to the rebar, uh, wet the area to just increase the contact area to give you a slightly better earth. Uh, pipes, internals, externals, always earth detected to the substrate and the ground. You can have various sorts of structures above ground. An earthing system where the substrate is not available. You have a trailing, what we call a trailing earth. This is a bare wire that's pulled along. Somewhere along the line, the substrate of the pipe or the structure needs to be earth. Generally it is. The earth carries across from, from one area to another, especially in welded pipelines. But if they're slip jointed, well, maybe each section does not have an earth and you need to cross check that. What you can do with pipes that are slip jointed and have rubber o-rings etc, you can put a conductive rubber mat on the outside or in the inside if you're testing the inside. You can then have what is a capacitive earth. It's a carbonized rubber mat. It can be a sheet of tin actually. will do the same thing. And the earth may not be available to actually hook onto the pipe. And the pipe may be that it's just not earth from anywhere. You need to cross check this to make sure that you can actually find what you're looking for in these sections. Earthing depends on contact, moisture and conductivity. Trailing earth leads lines may not always work. Ground spikes must be wetted in order for them to work. You have some very wet areas, you have some very dry areas, damp maybe, and exceptional dry areas. Trailing earth lines, in some of these cases, they may not work and you must go to a ground spike. Some very dry sand and below that there is some coarse broken up rock and trailing earths will lay on top 
you will not have enough contact area, the same as the grassy area, and you will get very poor earthing in these areas. They're not suitable for trailing earths, and you'll have to go to ground spike, and you need to wet the ground spike. Extra long earth lead. Try and keep them as short as possible. As they run along the ground, or along the tank internals, it will pick up capacitive earthing as well. So you, although you might have a clipped on to the substrate a long way away, it will pick up a little extra earthing as it travels along the ground. Trailing capacitive earth. If you've got the pipe sitting on insulating wooden supports, you need to clip onto the substrate of the pipe or the structure. Once it's got insulating wood supports and there's no contact between the substrate and the ground, the trailing earth will not work in this situation. So with the environmental issues today, no one really needs coating failure as you need to repair. Corroded pitted steel or leaking or ruptured pipelines are a disaster. It's a different world today than what it was a few years ago. Maybe it's time to do a little rethink on this porosity detection. PCWI Porosity Holiday Detector Probes. We manufacture anything you require in this area. Earth leads, extensions, adapters, etc. Sales at pcwi.com.au